we're back from <laughs> outer space. <laughs> back from outer space. Uh, yeah, just walked that's in good. to mm-hmm. find you here with that same look upon your face. Oh, that same look being technical difficulties abound. <laughs> I just don't get it. I don't understand technologies, you guys. Uh, something works, and then just it doesn't work. The gremlins, man. I don't. I don't get it. I don't you pretend know. to get it. Episode one oh whatever of We Were Gamers, where we continue to be giant screw ups. <laughs> yeah. One oh seven, maybe? Or one oh seven. I don't know. I think it's yeah. seven. <laughs> well, so I didn't seven. number here's here's a good lead in. I didn't number the last episode. We should talk about that for a second. It's a special episode about Star Trek. How did you like it? Michael being the only one that wasn't on. <laughs> I very much I very much enjoyed listening to you guys. <laughs> Hey, welcome back. It's We Were Gamers, a podcast about uh, hurrying up to get through the 20 minutes we just lost of a podcast uh, because of technical difficulties. We used to play games we don't as much anymore, but we like talking about them. So here we are. And we also like talking about things like Star Trek. And last week we were off because of the holiday. And JJ and I put up a special episode talking about Star Trek. Yeah. It called gave the Subspace us a- Transmission. Yeah, I think Andrew and I have been big Star Trek fans for quite a while, uh, and this was as good of a reason as any to watch more Star Trek, which uh, really is all the reason I need. Uh, I'm perfectly happy to watch Star Trek anytime for any reason at all, uh, and getting to talk about it is a bonus. Unrelated to whatever podcast we have coming for that series, which we have done a few, uh, which will be released over time. Just keep an eye out for them. Some might come with a normal week. Some might come on vacation weeks. I don't know. Well, they'll they'll come out. Uh, I have just just started randomly watching old episodes of Star Trek that I like again. Um, trying to delay me going and just starting Discovery until we decide that we're going to do it because I feel like now that we've done that series, we should do it together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're don't right sound excited I, no i'm just really like lazy and apprehensive about watching that show i just don't know i think we have I, to do it i agree let me put I it just, this way you'd rather watch that than the animated series you haven't seen yes also true so don't make that, me force you to do that is but. that is that kind of like saying you'd rather watch episode one than the christmas special though I'd rather watch the Christmas special than episode I was, one. I was Ooh. just going to say the Christmas <laughs> special is hilarious and episode one is not. Touché. That's like okay. saying you'd rather watch episode one than uh, maybe the second Ewoks movie. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the second one. Uh, it's more that like I enjoy bad movies and bad shows. Like I'm a big fan of Mystery Science Theater for those oh, reasons. Yeah. And that is prime that stuff. Yeah. Well, honestly, we don't know anything about Discovery. Forward. It may not be bad. It probably... I, a lot of people really li- seem to like it. It got another season, for whatever that's worth. And only on a digital release. So, that's got to say something about their numbers. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. I We will get around to watching it eventually. Yep. Okay, that's enough. Uh, We have to make up for the time we lost. How was everybody's little vacation week? Uh, We can cut in with the two second homeowners minute on this end uh, my pool is ready to go it's being heated it's cleaned it took a whole day because you know they have filters and stuff and you got to take them apart and get really messy and covered in diatomaceous earth and then uh and then people are really happy when they come to your pool and it's clean that seems good <laughs> yeah you know uh also i guess i could cut can this go into the homeowners minute my fan blade arrive or my fan arrive oh yeah sure oh, I- is I've that a homeowner's minute that. thing? What is that? I don't know. It is a now. Se- a segue? Sure. The tech, the tech owner's minute? I don't know. It doesn't need a segment of its own. It, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's in. It's on. The heat sink is reapplied with new thermal paste. Um, okay. It still runs hot, like 30 resting. Mm. 35 maybe resting. Uh, with low-ish fans. I put a custom fan curve on it, and the, my computer is much louder than it used to be. Yep, that's yeah. what happens. Um, I haven't noticed. I noticed glitching the first day, and then I had the epiphany that I have never updated the drivers on the card. My, my dude, what? 
What have you been doing with your life? <laughs> uh, so the drivers why are did updated, we, and there's a custom Why did fan. we do all this stuff? You could have just done that first. I thought update the drivers would have been the most obvious advice that would have been maintained. But update the drivers wouldn't solve a glitching issue all the time. Like, why would it be glitching now? I don't know. Okay. Because you have a compatibility issue with the drivers or the BIOS. It's it didn't to exist up till now? It's something updated and anyway. they, they didn't mesh anymore. Yeah, Windows is very mysterious, okay? You gotta, like... <laughs> sometimes you just have to, like, wave the magic wand Look, exactly right in order to make everything line up. This computer is a literal small black box. If you don't open it, it's just magic. 35 seat resting seems like not the end of the world. It's an overclocked it? card. Yeah. Okay, then yeah. You're in the ballpark. Okay. So we'll see if it holds together. Reinstalling all that stuff was interesting. It went much faster the fifth time. <laughs> As things <laughs> tend to. You're really underselling that line. <laughs> I, I just tried to move past it. You know it's practice. I can do it blindfolded on any card from now on. Got me very excited to build a new computer. I recommend you don't do it blindfolded, but that's very impressive. If he does, you'll be able to find a video of it on the website. That will be absolutely true. What does everybody else do with their time off? Time away. Not really off, but away, maybe. A little bit. I don't know. What did you do in the week since we talked last? A week and a half. Uh well the wife and I went down to uh to San Diego this past weekend. Holla. Uh, yeah. which was a good trip. We actually got to hang out with uh JJ and his fiance for a while. Woo. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, yeah. Um but so the reason for our trip was uh my wife's uh stepmom was in town from Arizona and we hadn't oh. seen her in a while. So right on. had brunch with her and then decided, you know what, we're just gonna make a whole day out of this. So um did I think we tasted just about every kind of spirit. We did a lot, yeah. Yeah. We started with cider, and then mead, and then wine, and then a craft distillery, and then there was some brewery in there. And craft salsa? Yeah, we found a craft salsa place, and all this was in, like, two shopping complexes across the street from each other. If I make salsa in my house, is it craft salsa? Yes. Yes, yes, it is. That's a silly thing. They had like 15 salsas you could choose from. That's silly. I thought it was pretty uh, cool. And they served like Mexican food there too. The habanero one there, Andy. Yeah, it was good. I love habaneros. Yeah. Right on. Right on. I still have a little bit of that at home, actually. (laughs) It is still spicy. (laughs) Yeah, uh, it'll sneak up on you. Sweet. Cool. Yeah, um, but like beyond uh, hanging out with Michael, I didn't do, uh, and his uh, his lovely wife, Laura, uh, <laughs> I didn't do too much. Um, you know, I think over the Memorial Day weekend, Steam had like a brief event that like, honestly, I didn't even, I barely knew happened. Did either of you guys catch that? The spring cleaning. I caught the, the tail end of that. You mean the spring cleaning? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I got the badge from doing the install and uninstall things. That is also what I did <laughs> uh, for the most part. That's about uh, all but, I did, though. Yeah. I, I actually kept playing. Um, I installed uh, Borderlands 2 as one of the ones that was on my list. Uh, and then I was like, you know what? I haven't played this game in a long time. There's like some new free character DLC that I hadn't messed with. And so I've been playing it off and on here and there. Just like brainless shooty time it's been fairly fun awesome brainless shooty time Mm -hmm. you know that's is it that's still kind of like an rpg version of that game the first version of that game was very destiny uh precursor rpg style loot based leveling up stuff uh, the both games are like that. Okay, it, it is all very much loot based with quests. Never and... touched the second one, so I didn't know if they stuck with it. Yeah, it's cool. the thing they did in the second one was add like a lot more types and mm-hmm. a lot weirder stuff. Yeah, and so like a lot of there's like a gun that shoots guns, and there's like <laughs> uh 
like shields, you know, you're like your shield that you can ch- swap out. It's like some of them will have special effects. Like when it goes down, you get a giant fire explosion or whatever. Right. And it's, there's like a bunch of like weird, interesting stuff. And then new character classes. Um, you're not the same people. Uh, and the story is, you know, new, I guess. Oh, gotcha. It's a, it's a good game. Uh, especially since it goes on heavy discount these days, uh, people should, people should play it if you have not. It's fun. Some of the jokes a little dated though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, somebody else was busy, uh, and sent us a new transmission. Ooh. Mm. Oh yeah. We want to hear about some portal from Agent Zero Cool. Agent Portal Two. No, Portal One. Portal One. Yeah. I kind of forgot there for a second. I would be impressed if he beats all of it and then starts the the second one without us asking. Ooh. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. If he finds out there is a second one, he may play it. He sounds like he's having a good time. Plus, you get to hear the portal gun sound more. All right, good sirs. We're sirs Back. now? This is All zero. That seems a bit much. <laughs> Playing the portal game. I think I'm on the last... The last level, last literal level. Oh, the elevator. oh, he doesn't. He doesn't know, does he? There seem to be nineteen. I think he doesn't know. Nineteen of nineteen. Oh, he does. Yeah, he definitely so doesn't. I've made some progress, but I have a feeling that because of the difficulty level, as it ramps up, this one might be the hardest. Welcome to the final test. When you are done, you will drop the device in the equipment recovery annex. No, no, you won't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, this cake thing, I had no idea this was going to become the thing. <laughs> the cake. <laughs> but it did. And so now. It's well, impressive to see people am, that didn't uh, hear about the cake thing from this game. You know, he is a very much a retro gamer. You know, he talks to me sometimes. He's like, have you heard about this game, Wind Waker? You're like, my dude. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's like five Zeldas ago, friend. I had a suspicion that this cake thing was going to be bogus, and I'm getting a lot of hints from this computer system that there is, in fact, no cake at the end of this game. (laughs) I hope this isn't a spoiler for this apparently very old game. Yeah, it's it's a hundred-year-old game. There's something nefarious afoot. Why? What would lead you to think that? Yeah, and right. and no, no. There's never, never anything Rest. nefarious with Gladys. Always on the up and up. The music has definitely shifted into like a ominous tone. I didn't notice or remember. Yeah. Orange portal here. Portal there. That's not gonna work now, is it? You can hear him running around on the platforms. Oh yeah, they have like the goo, right? No, the goo's from the second Low game. That's the second that's game, yeah. Game. So think about everything that's Man, I should replay this game. Yeah. Why didn't this come up in the spring cleaning? Good question. I was surprised. You know, we... I was surprised that a a Valve game wasn't my first game installed. And neither was mine. That was interesting also. Mine was Dawn of War. Mine was Torchlight. Hmm. I think I had to install Steam to get Dawn of War. Hmm. That would make sense. Which opened up a world of possibilities to me. I don't know how I have I don't know how I just did that, but I, I did. was thinking this one would be a, we wouldn't be all playing together, but this would be a good like one to play through for a, a podcast. Or if there's ever a, a two of us week, we could play Portal 2. Yeah, you and I have been talking about that for a while. Moving now. That game is hard, co-op. Oh, the intensity. You, you really... know this is the, like the last level. Yeah, sure it is. The music <laughs> itself has changed. He it's got onto the music too, though. Well, yeah, again, he's, 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 he's picking up the cues, but I don't think he means they mean what he thinks they mean. He's an audiophile and he's getting tricked. 
impressive. Portal 2 was a lot okay. easier when you sat in the same room and you could point at the screen. Yes. Yep. Yeah, I remember you and I played through quite a few of the levels co-op there, uh, Andy. And, yeah, it's way easier when you'd be like, okay, this thing over here, do this. Right. And you're like, oh. When I jump here, make sure to put a portal under me. Right. Now we'd have to use Skype or Discord or whatever. No, seriously, where did the platform go? The platform's alive. Ah, there it is. Duck! Can you crouch in that game? I know you can oh jump. Oh, yeah, I, th question. I think you can. Okay. Was it something they added for the second one? Reload. No, I, I think aren't there like little like side rooms and stuff that you can get into where like. Apparently, my save state was me falling off a platform. So. Whoopsie. Let's try that again. I reload. Back up real quick. No. Oh my gosh. How is that? Oh, possible? zero cool in his save, save states. Save state is me in the process of falling into the water. That's where it auto saved. Kind of sucks. Jeez. <laughs> That really sucks, actually, because... Is this the point where you're supposed to go down there? What did it... It auto-saved me mid -air. Oh, no. Oh, boy, that's... Yeah, but I think maybe you're supposed to go down there, right? Okay, so... And then you, like, exp Doesn't the, the water auto -save, hurt I'm you? I'm assuming because I was in a certain geographic location in the game, but it just so happens that geographic location for me was mid-air. So my last autosave now is me in air on my way down into the water. I thought there's like acid and stuff that hurts you, right? Yeah, but does the yeah, regular too water hurt you too? Sometimes the, save state the water's electrified? Sometimes? Oh yeah, maybe. Ah, not so bad. Not so bad at all. Okay. <laughs> Much ado about nothing. Except I missed the platform. That's a good movie. Let's do this. Let's load from here. Except maybe for the Keanu Reeves the part. The <laughs> what are you talking about? Duck. Also, Denzel Much Washington. Uh, I'm gonna jump up here. It's great temporarily. All right, and we made it. You hear they're making a Bill and Ted three? Wow, yeah, right. well, okay. and they got the original two guys to sign on. Why? I have to make a portal here. Because it's the it's 1980s like, all the time now, guys. It's all there. about rebooting some franchises. And they might as well just make Spaceballs to the search for more money. How great would that be, though? I, Someone I actually calling the whole industry out on it. What if they skip to the third tricky. one? <laughs> Spaceballs 3, the search for even more money? It's time to the most money. I think I'm going to have to jump to it. Star Wars is big again. They could. All totally. The yep. Okay. Jump. Oh, wow. It doesn't last long at all. Not at all. No, oh, so they do have the super slide. Well, what do I need to do? Maybe I don't need a portal at all. I just need to be quick. Here we go. Okay. Did he hit the door? It sounded like he hit the door. Come on, jump! Did I make it? Ah, oh, I'm in the water. I do remember some of the hardest puzzles being the ones where you had to do things without portals in a very precise and yeah. very tight window. The like glass rooms that you couldn't portal through, so you had to go hit a switch then run out. Sorry guys, it's probably really yeah. boring. I always had a tough time with the parts where when you're outside of the testing rooms, which maybe he's coming up to, where they required you to, like, use the one small space of portable wall to, like, land on a catwalk or whatever. Mm -hmm. I always missed the dang catwalk. Like, it'd be, like, <laughs> three or four <laughs> times. It's, like, just on the railing, and then you fall off. Oh, go back. Yep. Go back. Oh, I'm in the water. And, you know, I, was just, I was just slightly askew when I entered or whatever. Oh, I'm in the water. My momentum was just off. Okay, jump over here. I 
Uh, Sounds like that's starting for him now. It's worth last time I did it. Come on now. Come on now. Do I have to face it now? I didn't have to face it before. I thought I had to be very clever about having to face it. Yeah, you have to be kind of next to it to hit the switches. All right, and yeah. hit it. I did hit it. <laughs> Back in the water. <laughs> We're not going to even hear him hit the end of this level? Okay. Dislike. No, uh, I think that was it. So he's he's in the water. I think he might have taken a frustration break for the listener. <laughs> well. Oh well, I guess. Yeah, we will find out, I guess. Tune in next time. <laughs> Did he figure out that 19 was... So what'll happen is he'll take this his frustration break, where he always does this, and then he'll finish the level, then he'll remember to record. So we'll hear his reaction to the fact that that's not the last level. Not live. <laughs> that's my no, prediction. I'm okay. I'm okay with that still. Yeah. It'll still be good. It'll still be good. <sighs> well, what else has anybody been playing? I, I've I've been I'm a hundred hours into BattleTech. I have nothing except feeling betrayed all the time, worrying about if I need to scrap this mech because the head exploded, and uh, it's too expensive to fix. I banked a lot of money. I have too many mech warriors. Somebody's gonna betray me again. <laughs> uh, I have been uh playing the uh. I don't even know how to introduce what this thing is. It's the 8-bit mini game, but it's a game. You're supposed to cough while you say Castlevania and then cough again. Oh, so it's it's called Bloodstained Castlevania. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Curse of the Moon. <laughs> uh, it is it is a retro style, like almost like NES Castlevania style game. Uh, and very specifically, this game is a lot like castlevania 3 uh if people know or remember anything about that game the where most you go liked through. one uh it, except it's for a good game night obviously but like control yeah. wise probably the most liked one yeah because you get to recruit the other characters and you can uh use them as well and those are the uh, characters from the show right in castlevania 3 i think so it doesn't matter because mm. we're not talking about castlevania we're talking about bloodstained yeah, uh, and Bloodstained has four characters. Mm-hmm. Um, Does that mm-hmm mean that Michael's playing Bloodstained as well? I am also playing Bloodstained. Mm -hmm. uh, I think JJ and I both backed the Kickstarter at a high enough level to have been included on this little uh, gift that they gave out to the backers. Is this a full game or a, like a just a teaser or what? Oh, oh it's a full game. Uh, I actually apparently backed it at a high enough level to get two copies. So I also have this on the Nintendo Switch. Oh yeah, I got the I got a second download key as well. Um they they had an issue with console keys and uh I don't know if that contributed to the second copy. Oh, that's possible. Yeah. I they did have issues with getting the keys out to people, I guess, but since my primary platform was Steam, there was no problem for me. <laughs> Same here. Uh, but yeah, I have played through and beaten this game now. Um, it, I don't think it's a spoiler to say that there are eight stages, just like Castlevania games. Uh, and it's pretty good. Uh, it, it's, and if you play on the veteran mode, uh, which you should, if you're into, uh, into these kind of games, uh, it is true eight bit style Castlevania where that knockback kills you every dang time. 100 times out of 100 times, there will be a bat or a Medusa head thing, even though they're not Medusa heads in this game, whatever they are, will come at you at a time that you don't really can't move on this tiny little platform and knock you right into the void. <sighs> yep. Yeah. So it's definitely one of those. Um, but it's it's really fun. There's a lot of cool powers. Uh, your, your gang of characters has a lot of interesting... Uh, different uses you know they all have slightly different one jumps higher and one has a longer range attack and one can fly and one can do magic and uh you know it gives you a lot of interesting different ways to go through it now is this the full release of what you guys backed or is that coming still 
No, this was uh this was basically just sort of to wet people's appetite. Yeah, um, I, be- I believe this was a stretch goal during the Kickstarter at some level. Yes. And this is now out and the full game is coming someday. TBD question mark. I have a question for you about your Switch. Okay. How are you going to feel having to pay to play games against people on your Switch? Uh, I feel that there's a very high likelihood that I will not pay to do that because I'm not that (laughs) big into online games uh, on that platform. We haven't talked about it, but a couple weeks ago they came out with a concrete plan for what their Nintendo Online is going to be. And I think our what we left it at when we talked about it a while ago was, huh, that sounds intriguing and might be worth a good value if the price is right. We got a price. It's 20 bucks a year. For I, what? Uh, cloud storage. Oh, and, yeah. That's right. Uh, so you can't cloud play. Yeah. You can't cloud store without it. Which some people care about and some people don't. I don't see the point for a Nintendo platform in cloud storage, but that's just me. I mean, I see a good point for it because if you lose or break your Switch, then they could have all your saves and stuff backed up uh, to your new one. But instead, if you lose or break your Switch, you have now just lost everything, just like dumb Nintendo platforms of old. Well, did you hear about the... There was a big crop of people who did lose all of their saves because... There was a third-party docking station that worked just fine until Nintendo pushed a firmware update, and then the compatibility went sideways and erased people's memory. That's worse, but correct me if I'm wrong, I mean, at least on my 3DS, my save games are on my SD card now, so like, I would have to break my Switch and my SD card to lose my saves, right? Or no? Well, you would have to break your Switch and your SD card, but neither of those help you in the case where, like... You lose it, I guess. You lose it, yeah. or it gets smashed beyond recognition somehow. Sure. Or wet. SD cards yeah. should still work after you dry them out. Mm. Most of the time they do. Yeah, it's it's dicey. It Again, could work. Um, I mean, I've never destroyed any of my platforms enough that it mattered you know going all the way back to a genesis if you broke the cartridge you lost your save game right like it's a yeah. mobile platform it's not like an online save status where you got your your skins or whatever that you paid real money for i don't know i mean uh but like there are games like that people are yeah. playing splatoon 2 and there's all kinds of online features on and that, that game. stuff isn't saved in line online No, there's no online cloud storage in that in the system. Apparently now, unless you pay, Uh, which seems ridiculous to me. You'll have to pay soon to play Platoon against Splatoon against people. I think, or is that one of the ones that's exempted? I don't remember. So it was free up until now, but I imagine uh, once this has started rolling out, and I don't remember when it starts. Do we remember that? Uh, I don't. September. September. There you go. Yes, I do remember uh, that. And yeah, I would assume at that point, then they're they're gonna close online matchmaking to anyone who hasn't paid. I just, you know, and, and they're doing some stuff. Uh, what is that? You get some free stuff with NES this? titles. Twenty to start, I think, somewhere around there, two dozen ish, and then they're gonna add more. And it's you have access to them while you are subscribed, right? Mm, yes, but I don't think they remove them. Or anything like that. I think once they're on the service, they're on the service. And you can download and install them and play them offline. Yeah. And I think that several of them have like online leaderboards or online matchmaking somehow. Yeah, that's why they're taking time to roll them out is because they're updating them for the Switch to like give you more stuff for them, I think. But I mean, if you do the math on that, what's an NES classic cost you 60 bucks? So that's three years of Nintendo online. Uh, I, you know, I, like I've sort of like said my piece here, but I just don't understand, you know, that the type of games that I want to play on the switch are not going to be the ones that are going to have online matchmaking and stuff. I'm not yeah, going to play enough. like online shooters. I'm not going to be playing smash brothers. Uh, I'm not going to be playing Splatoon. So I might play 
Mario Kart or something like that once or twice if it were free, but I don't think it this grabs me as much as I thought it might. Yeah. That being yeah. said though, I think that the the price for a year is a good one. Yeah, I'm I'm way if, happier with the idea of paying twenty dollars a year than I would be for the like PlayStation Four or the Xbox version, which is I think sixty dollars a year, right? I do wonder if they judged rightly that their interest level would be low, so they had to price it low. Yeah, I mean the I think the value is low as well, so they're probably dialing it in pretty close to well there. Yeah. Uh and you know, I mean for what it's worth, I have a PS4 and I don't buy the online service on that either. Um you know, so it's uh I I think they're doing a good job. Like I'm closer to buying it for the Switch than I am for the PlayStation, I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> Can I bug you about some other Nintendo something or else? Something else? I want to I want to pick your brains. This is why we have a podcast, so I can just make you guys tell me things. Go for it. <laughs> yeah. JJ. Andrew. Did you play Fire Emblem Awakening? Yeah. Okay, hold that thought. Great game. I love that game. Oh, hold that thought. Michael. Andrew. Did you play Radiant Historia? I did. Hold, you, hold that thought. I okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting on a plane tomorrow. Uh, as of recording this, so I'll already be on a plane when this podcast goes up. It's going to take me about five minutes on that plane to finish the Layton game that I still have in the DS. And then I need to put one of those two games in after that. Ooh, so are we pitching you now? Yep. Is that what's going to happen? Mm -hmm. So pitch me these two games, because I don't know okay, which so one to play next. <laughs> have you played Fire Emblem Awakening? I have played neither of them. They've been sitting in a drawer. Have you played the other Fire Emblems that came out on 3DS, like Fates or I have never, whatever the other one was? I have never played a DS Fire Emblem game. The closest thing I've played on my DS is probably one of the FF Tactics, FF10 Tactics. I don't remember one of those. I've played Tactics games before. Lots of them. Okay. Uh, I... Don't I did not play Radiant Historia, so I don't That's know. What, you're pitching. Uh, you're only pitching me on one, man. I know. I know. <laughs> uh, I, I here's what I will say. Uh, Fire Emblem Awakening is the better of the ones that I have played on the 3DS. I know there's a third one that came out more recently uh, that I did not play, but uh, Fire Emblem Awakening came out uh, a while ago now. Um, but it's be it was better, I think, than Fates, even though Fates has like a lot more branching stuff. Uh, I think most of that stuff was done better in Awakening. Uh, the In true Fire Emblem fashion, though, it will take a while to get going. Um, I liked that game. I thought the story was fun. The twists were cool. Uh, and, you know, pairing your people up and, like, deciding who you wanted to marry off to who to get their children in, later in the game and stuff was a uh, fun and interesting thing to do at the time. Wait, I you get to, like, really Pokemon breed your Fire Emblem warriors? Oh, yeah, and it makes a big difference, too, because the children that you get change based on certain pairings, oh, right? Oh, no. So I'm not going to have internet access to find out if I need to pair certain people. Yeah, you know what? That's It's not going to... They're all good. Oh. I mean, that's, <laughs> they're not all good. They're not all good, but you're not going to have trouble, right? Unless you're... So uh, if you're playing on the... It, in also true Fire Emblem fashion, it has the permadeath stuff, if you want to enable it. So you can play the game on a mode where the your guys die, but then they come back after the battle uh which way should i play that if i play it well it's a okay the answer is up to you uh based on what you know you're going to do if you're going to just save scum it and stop the game as soon as your person dies and load a save then you should just save yourself the trouble and not do that so that you can get through the game um but if you are willing to roll with the deaths of characters and keep going, then that is a fun way to play also. Is there a material difference in in this Fire Emblem game? I know in the past it hasn't really mattered much, but like if somebody dies, does it matter to the story? I, the story is going to do what the story is going to do, okay. um, but so you might miss certain matter. scenes and stuff. There might be like, there are certain side quests, which I think they call, it's like paralogues or paraquests or whatever, mm -hmm. like basically optional maps. 
uh, that you need certain people for. So you won't be able to do every optional map if you don't have every character. Um, but it's not the end of the world. All right, that's my pitch on Fire. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Okay. I knew you'd like it. All right, Michael. Radiant Historia. The new version of it is called the... I'm opening my drawer. You can hear it. Perfect Chronology. Yes. Made by Atlas. Made by Atlas. Um, so, Radiant Historia, the first one, uh, as I understand it, is very much like the new one. They might have added... A dungeon, maybe. Um, I, I know I've read about what's new, but the base game itself is very much unchanged. And I played it through originally uh, when it came out for DS. And if you like or really even know anything about Chrono Trigger and the idea, you will like this game. Ooh. Um, so the the way it sets up is that you are playing as the main character and something happens to you and you basically get pulled out of time where you meet these two entities who give you the ability to travel back and forth to specific points in time. Cough, chrono trigger, cough. So is that um, open to you to decide which areas or is it just kind of like a lockstep story, kind of like a Kingdom Hearts so it's pretty open to you. You can either you can either run through with the story uh jumping around only as much as you need to to keep progressing things or you can go back and do different side quests throughout the timeline. And so the game is literally laid out for you in a book. And there are little, there's a timeline menu and little book icons dot the timeline and you unlock more of them as you go forward or backward and change things. And so you can jump around and play with, well, if I make a different decision at this point in the past, how does that cascade forward and help me progress the storyline are you trying to achieve a goal or are you just like seeing what things you change and what they become no there's a there is a whole storyline um involved there's a, a war going on and you're fighting on one side and trying to prevent the escalation of it but it's uh it's good it's Com combat is like what just standard final so, fantasy or yeah yeah it's it's kind of like you know somewhere between the old school Final Fantasy and uh, it's not it's less like Chrono Trigger in that sense in that it does take you out of where you are and then put you back into it. Highly, highly recommend it though. I should actually go back and replay it. 80 plus hours? Less? More? Um, Maybe a little less. I want to say for me it was maybe more like 65 ish. Okay. And what what do you think on Fire Emblem also around 60? Less. Mm, you can you could definitely get it done faster than that depending on how much grinding and trying to max everything out you want to do. How much uh pokey like, breeding? Yeah, definitely doing all that stuff takes a while. You got to grind the affinity between the characters and oh, doing man. that stuff takes a little bit of time. Um but you know, since it's optional, if you mainline stuff with your strong group of guys and don't lose people, uh, you can get through it probably in like 30 or 40. Cool. All right. Maybe. Gosh, that's my recollection anyway. I don't really remember. It's been a while. I have a serious concern that I'm going to have a battle tech withdrawal while I'm out there. Mm. I've played it almost every night. It's we'll pretty see. good. It is good, but uh, it'll be nice. It's going to be a good change of pace. Okay, I don't know how to pick between these two. They, you guys both pit, pitched them really well. Hmm. I don't have a coin to flip, so I will guess I'll have to pick and post online what I did. Yeah, Radiant Historia sounds cool. I should probably like check you, that out. JJ, you would really like it. No, oh, no. I am... He's waffling. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just mean like, you know, I'm always up for cool games and it sounds cool. So. Right on. All right, well, short episode because we lost uh, half of it or whatever. <laughs> ah, you're exaggerating we, here. We lost, like, less than 10 minutes. Okay. We we made up ground. Yeah, it went a yeah. little bit faster. 
Yeah, we covered some good stuff this episode, though. All right. Well, I like it. It's nice to be back. And uh, we'll be back with a normal episode next week, I believe. And until then, that was JJ over there, because I think we forgot to do intros at the beginning. Mm. Yes, I am. And Michael. Thanks for joining us. And Michael, where can people find us? People, if they want to get at us, they can email us at podcast at we were gamers. They could also hit us up on social media. We were gamers on Facebook and Instagram and the Twitters. And I don't think we're young enough or savvy enough for any of the Snapchat, what have you's. But I thought about it for five minutes and then said, I'm not that person. We're not, we're millennials, but we're not that millennial. I'm, when Snapchat has been dead for seven years or so, then we'll adopt it. Snapchat, that's, that's if our you brand. would like to sponsor this podcast so that we Snapchat, uh, email us at we want to Snapchat at we were gamers dot com. A real email address. <laughs> totally not going to bounce back to you. <laughs> oh, what do you think? If, I, if, you've, uh, if I throw out both your suggestions and just play Picross. Hey, Picross is a good game too, man. I did enjoy some Picross too. Thought I had it there. <laughs>